Devil fruits are the most important power in One Piece, but have you ever thought to yourself, wow, I mean, I wish that this power would be in the story as well. Well, I had the very same idea and asked all of you to submit your wildest, most powerful and incredulous devil fruits that would absolutely break One Piece. And uh, you won't believe how hard it was to sort through almost two thousand submissions from all of you to pick out just 15 of the coolest devil fruit powers that honestly you will probably ever see. Okay, but first of all, let's start with just how completely insane this contest developed. Because after the very first minute, 60 seconds, that the contest was open, I already saw three banger devil fruit ideas, and I just knew at this point that this was going to be a massive challenge to pick just 15. And also, I just have to give a huge, huge thank you to everyone from all over the world who submitted your devil fruits. I mean, I just love to see that this amazing community comes together so much in such an awesome way to come up with these powers. Although, of course, I have to be honest, I did not take into consideration any submissions that were actually already fruits in the story. And if there were repeat devil fruit submissions like the over 100 water fruits, the 42 blood fruits, and the 37 air slash wind type fruits, then I just had to pick the submission with the best explanation of powers and limitations. And yeah, speaking of limitations and weaknesses, I mean, any submission that was just insanely stupidly broken with absolutely no restrictions whatsoever, like the universe fruit that just lets you literally do anything that you want, I had to throw out those as well because there's no devil fruit in the story, as you know, that doesn't have some sort of restriction or downside to its power as well. And the final disclaimer here is that this video is not just about strong fighting fruits, but also in general includes those ones that are just stupidly useful in many other creative ways and would break the world that way. And the perfect example of this is the first one on our list, which is the Boturu Boturu no Mi, the bottle fruit submitted by Martin, which basically has my favorite devil fruit design in this entire ranking. I mean, look at it. It's just this like super creative like ship in the bottle theme. But now what does this fruit actually do? Well, it does give you the ability to shrink anything down to a tiny size and store it inside a pocket dimension inside one of these bottles that you can create, which doesn't sound all that special at first maybe, but let me explain here. Imagine you're stuck at the red line, but you don't want to go underwater to Fishman Island. Well, with this fruit, you can just put your ship in a bottle and carry it over the red line in your pocket. Or imagine that you want to just sneak attack, kind of let's say Marine Fort for instance. With this fruit, you can literally keep an entire armada in a single bottle and when you're ready to fight, smashing the bottle will release the entire army. Which is simply incredible for sneaking around and transporting anything, storing anything, but it also has some truly overpowered combat abilities as well. For instance, you can trap fire or lightning in a bottle, yeah, lightning in a bottle, and then release it to defeat an opponent. So yeah, truly a not only insanely creative, but also overpowered and incredibly useful devil fruit. Plus again, that design, well done, Martin, thank you. However, even this insane ability here is not as useful as the Senti Senti no Mi, which was submitted by Musa from India. Now, this power is absurdly broken, and if used by the right person, could completely tear down the entire world government, let's be real. That's because the ability of the Senti Senti no Mi lets you learn anything about a person or object by simply touching it. And when I say everything, I mean everything. Now, to perfectly demonstrate how broken this fruit is, let's say you ate it and then touched a poneglyph. Well, you would now know not only what it says, but also who made it, when and where it was made, and possibly even where the others like it were placed around the world. Or let's say if you touched a world noble, then you would learn all their dark secrets, including information that the world government would never want you to know. So yeah, if uh, that isn't an insanely overpowered fruit in a pirate treasure hunt kind of story, then I don't know what is, but that's not all, because in combat, you could use this fruit to learn all of your opponents weaknesses and then come up with the best way to counter them. And really the only downside to this would be that you kind of trans out for a second here. However, even the incredible knowledge
knowledge that you could gain from the Senti fruit doesn't compare to the god tier abilities of this next one. And that's because with the powers of Zack the Zoda Snail Snail Fruit, Model Denden Mushi, you can instantly communicate with people all over the world. Which you might be saying, well, normal Denden Mushis can already do that, but this power lets you communicate with literally anyone without ever needing the snail phone in the first place. Which, let's be honest, how many times during battles are you going to pause to pick up the phone, right? And this fruit truly shines with the ability to have group calls inside of your head, because in case you don't know, then and Mushis work telepathically, that would basically let you instantly coordinate with your entire squad slash army to strategize during an all-out massive war. I mean, just imagine how useful this power would have been when the Straw Hats were lost in the forest during Skypea, or during the chaotic battle of Onigashima, where there was literally people fighting all over the castle, and in fact, this power would be perfect for a strategist, let's say like Sanji, who could organize everyone to fight in the best possible locations. Which again, yeah, isn't a super broken combat fruit on its own, though you would be a zone fruit, so you still get all the boosts from that, but in a world as big as One Piece, instant communication with whoever, wherever, would be one of the most overpowered abilities, no doubt. And this next fruit here though is 100% a devil fruit idea that I guarantee you probably have never heard of. And that's because Kiko from Italy submitted one of my personal favorites in this ranking, the Game Game no Mi. Or I guess in Japanese it would be the Game Game no Mi. And now we've had many really reality bending submissions, but this one is just so unique and interesting that I just had to include it on this list. Okay, so basically this fruit allows you to turn yourself into a video game character and treat the world around you like your personal RPG adventure game. And that for example means that you can just pause everything during a battle to give yourself time to think, you can keep a hidden inventory of up to 999 items, and you can even save your progress up to three times and then return to one of those save points. I mean, come on. Who wouldn't want to have this fruit? And just imagine you're about to get absolutely, like, let's say, crushed by Kaido. Well, you can quickly just quit and restart that boss fight. Though, again, only three times. Simple as that. And, of course, what is a video game without an incredible power-up system as well? So, every time that you defeat an enemy, you gain stat points to level up your strength, your speed, your health, and other abilities, kind of like the sandbox game where you can just, like, put points to like different, uh, you know, abilities you have physically. Plus you can get item drops and money for every enemy that you defeat. Although of course, let's be real, with a ridiculous power like this, there of course have to be some limitations. So you can't just restart as many times as you like. There has to be a limit, like a certain number of times per day. And every time that you restart, you lose any experience and loot that you might've gained since your last, let's say, save. Also pausing during a battle or a fight that you're kind of like already investing a lot of energy in dramatically drains your stamina even more, so it's not like you can just do that on an infinite loop forever. You still lose that power that, you know, Devil Fruit users have to use for their powers. And speaking of time fruits though, doesn't of submissions have had time-based powers, but South Africa's Hassan submitted the so-called Chrono Chrono no Mi, the time time fruit, which had, in my opinion, the best combination of super awesome time powers with quite reasonable limitations, I think. And that's because this fruit gives the user the ability to create time bubbles around themselves, and within these bubbles, they can freely speed up or slow down time, kind of like what Law's Room does, which is absolutely devastating, of course, if you're fighting fighting someone one-on-one, -on -one because while you both would be moving at the same speed inside the bubble, you could easily confuse them by changing the range of speed at any given time. And of course, time would be flowing normally outside the bubble, but if you're moving super fast inside of it, then you could quickly dash around a battlefield to avoid attacks or simply get to the other side by, you know, creating bubbles here or there. And in particular, this fruit would be perfect in a situation like the birdcage from Dressrosa, where you would make a bubble around yourself and Doflamingo to effectively speed up the fight against the former warlord before the string cage could do any more damage to the city. And then of course, awakening this fruit could also mean that you could create bigger time bubbles, but this power can also leave you quite exhausted physically, so you'd still need to be pretty strong to use it efficiently on a consistent basis. Which honestly is the exact opposite of this next fruit, which might have the highest power ceiling, but also the lowest floor of any fruit 
fruit on this ranking. Because this is the so-called share share fruit, which was submitted by Kudi from Japan, actually. And this one is a little bit complex, so make sure you're paying attention here. Now, the base ability of the share fruit allows you to essentially share your physical abilities with another person. So basically, you get weak, they get strong. The catch here is that once the person that you gave your powers to dies, you get both your power back as well as all the strength of the person that you shared your power with. And so let's say if you're both just regular people, once the person dies, you'd get double the power back. But let's say you give your power to someone super incredibly strong like Zoro or Kaido, then once they died, you'd get all of that strength back from them in return as well. And so really over your entire life, your power could grow an insane amount depending on how many times you share and get your powers back. And actually, I'd love for a power like this to even have like some sort of extra special ability, kind of like, you know, Law's Immortal Surge or something like that, where the power of each previous user is then transferred to the next person who eats the fruit, so I guess kind of like one for all powers from My Hero Academia, which means that you won't get much power if you're the first person to eat the fruit, but just imagine if you're like the 10th person to eat it, then basically you'd have godly strengths from the moment you eat the fruit, and I could see it be something like Let's say like the secret treasure of Marie Joa, where it kind of gets passed down through the generations, making each successive person stronger. And now, it might sound a little bit crazy to say, but the next power now list makes you an even deadlier weapon than any of the fruits that we've discussed so far. And that's because not Rowan, which is, I guess, you're not Rowan then? He submitted the so-called Juju fruit, and man, do I love the concept of this one. Let me explain it. By touching an opponent or anything, you can basically drain their normal abilities or essence, such as speed, strength, and endurance, and then turn them into large drops of liquid. You can then take these dew drops of power and give these abilities to yourself, an ally, or even an inanimate object. So for instance, if you were fighting Luffy, you could drain some of his insane stamina and absorb that stamina yourself. And an awakened form of this power could even let you take powers from inanimate objects like fire and then give those powers to another person. Plus, there aren't that many downsides to this fruit either, but one that maybe makes sense is that you don't just gain your opponent's powers forever. Once you use up the amount that you drained, then it's basically gone. Also, of course, if you have strong hockey, you could probably resist the fruit, which I guess is the case for most other devil fruits as well, but only if they have stronger hockey than yourself. But if you thought that this power was incredibly versatile, then just you wait until you hear about the the Zodiac Devil Fruit submitted by Falcon Fig of the United States of America. And with this being the only zone in the top 15 except our uh, Dendenmushi Fruit, you can bet that it is insanely creative. Now, the original idea is that this fruit would grant you the power of one of the Zodiac animals, but Honestly, I think making this a mythical zone fruit could mean that you can freely transform into any of the zodiac animals. I mean, just think about the incredible diversity of powers. You can easily sneak around as a small rat, or you can blast your way through an entire army as a massive dragon. I mean, I can just imagine the rabbit having super speed and something like the ox just being an insanely durable tank. And since this is the zodiac we're talking about, you might even get an extra sort of power boost depending on the time of the year if it lines up with the animal that you're using right now, kind of the star constellations. So yeah, I think quite an awesome power to use in basically any situations because it gives you 12 forms to choose from basically depending on what you need. So love the concept. However, nothing is as powerful, I think, as Derek's submitted devil fruit idea, which is the sub sub no me, which no is not what you think. It of course instantly lets you subscribe to the channel for more One Piece content just like this. Plus there is an infinite amount of these fruits out there, so I'm Go, eat the fruit, subscribe. And this next fruit though is almost too deadly to even put into the story if we're being honest, because Ludwig from the Czech Republic submitted the Kinoko Kinoko no Mi, the mushroom mushroom fruit, which is a Logia ability that turns you into a mushroom person. That kind of is mushroom spores. I mean, yeah, I said that, mushroom spores. And if you know anything about mushrooms, well, then you should know that this power can be absolutely terrifying and absolutely lethal, because because as a mushroom spore person, you can turn your body into literally billions of tiny mushroom particles that could spread through the air. And if someone breathes in these spores, then well, it's 
basically game over for them because mushrooms have a ton of really insane effects. Yes, there are a lot that heal you, but some are so poisonous that they can instantly kill you. Others can make you hallucinate or even make a person fall asleep, which means that you're basically untouchable from close range because anyone who hits you would be immediately exposed to all these tiny spores. And to take this even a step further, awakening this fruit could let you turn your entire environment into mushroom spores as well, which means that a whole battlefield could instantly become a poisonous minefield for anyone who gets too close to you. But yeah, definitely very OP, but uh, also very scary ability, and I would love to see that one in the story actually. And while this next devil fruit on the list might not be as obviously powerful at first glance, it is simply one of my favorite abilities in all of anime and you'll see why, but it has never shown up in One Piece and that is the Dice Dice Fruit, which yeah, I know Mr. One's fruit has the same name, but this version submitted by River from Canada involves actual black and white dice, you know, the one you use for gambling. And wow, I mean, let me explain how this absurd power works and why I love it so much. So first of all, the user can summon a six sided die, which has the numbers one to six on each of the sides. And then they throw it out and whatever number it lands on, that effect is instantly used by them. Now, what could these effects be? Well. I'm glad you asked, because River actually supplied a perfectly balanced list of awesome abilities. Rolling a 1, for example, lets you blast the dice at your opponent kind of like a bullet. Rolling a 2 causes a flying wicked slash kind of like a curved scythe that can hit multiple opponents. A 3 causes damage to an opponent and anyone within at least 6 feet radius of that person, kind of like a small explosion. A number 4 causes a raining dance of blade-like dice to rain down on the battlefield. Rolling a 5 instantly lowers an opponent's speed and stamina and then rolling a number six makes a floating dart that hovers around the user to attack anyone who gets near you. Which if you ask me is all just amazingly cool stuff if you ask. I love the random like gambling side to it but of course the downside is that you can't exactly choose what power is used at any given moment. Reasonably also there might also be like a short cooldown time before you can roll your next die so if you really need to roll a four and rain down blades on a bunch of opponents you might not get that anytime soon. I mean, if you love math and statistics, calculate it yourself. But now for this next fruit, something completely different, I want you to think about the one thing that you want the most in the world right now. Is it a giant stack of money? Passing great on your next exam? A delicious sushi roll? I don't know what you want. Please, please for me though, the sushi roll. Well, with the Hoko Hoko no Mi submitted by Ali from the US, thank you Ali, uh, you can create a magical compass that kind of puffs up that will then lead you to whatever you desire the most in that moment. You know, kind of like Jack Sparrow's compass from the Pirates of the Caribbean movies, if you know about that. So yeah, finding the One Piece, like no problem, like at all with this fruit, just follow the direction that the compass is pulling you towards and you will find it eventually. It could also help you find another overpowered devil fruit to uh, sell or give to your friend. And it even has applications in battle when you really think about it, such as guiding you to find the best path to winning. And you could probably even create a compass on another person, which will guide them to what they desire most as well. But now I know that a bunch of you have been waiting for this next ability because it was the most submitted devil fruit after the water fruit. And that is of course, the blood fruit, which again, there was a ton of fantastic of these ideas submitted and I thank you for all of them, even if yours isn't the one I picked right now, but the option I chose in the end was submitted by Tadush Pathek from India because it just has the best description of powers along with really realistic limitations as well. And like the name says, this fruit of course allows you to produce and control blood. Halloween, I guess, is around the corner. Now, that means that you can whip out deadly blood slashes for long range attacks, you can make a blood sword to fight in close combat, and yeah, you can even control the blood inside of another person, which kind of creeps me out a little bit, but I guess it's something you all really seem to enjoy. 
But of course, there also have to be limitations on this simply broken ability. So for this fruit, we would probably have to say that you can't make anyone kill themselves by stopping their blood, for instance. I mean, that would just be way too evil, but you can slow down or speed up someone's blood to a certain extent to make them slower or to help them heal faster. You could also physically control their movements, so you can be an evil puppet master. Now, of course, controlling another person can be overcome if the other person is strong enough, so even if this isn't guaranteed to win your fight, it's still just, I mean, insanely powerful and again, a little bit gory, but um, you guys really love it, so <laughs> this is why it's it. Let me tell you though, if I was a Devil Fruit user, I would not want to fight this next Devil Fruit even more, because at number three, we have the Leech Leech Fruit, submitted by Fata, which is a German word, Not is, is that your real name? I mean, if it is, cool. And this fruit's powers are basically just like what it sounds. It lets you slowly drain other people's powers, which is similar to the dew fruit that we discussed earlier, except this one drains devil fruit abilities, not just strength and speed. And that of course means that it's the perfect power for a long drawn out fight against a devil fruit user, because if you can survive long enough and keep the fight going, your opponent will eventually get weaker and weaker over time just by being around you. A perfect example for this would be a marathon-like fight against Kaido that Luffy had, which if you had this fruit and could survive for as long as Luffy did, you might actually stand a chance at taking down one of these powerhouses if you just keep them busy long enough. And to take it one step further, a possible awakening for this fruit could also drain your opponent's normal strength as well, which means that in a long fight, you're basically guaranteed to win if they don't like get you right out of the gate. Though even this leech devil fruit is not as overpowered as this next one at two, which I'm honestly kind of shocked that it does not already exist in One Piece in the first place. And that's because Sahaj from Nepal submitted the Yume Yume no Mi. Thank you, Sahaj, which in English, I guess, would be the dream dream fruit. And this fruit is mind-blowingly useful in just so, so many situations. I mean, the first power of this fruit allows you to put someone to sleep by simply touching them, which, you know, is already ridiculously useful in any fight. But that's really just the start of it, because once your target is asleep, you can then manipulate their dream in the following ways. You could change and manipulate the dreams however you want, which could be either incredible incredibly enjoyable or absolutely terrifying, of course. You can also physically attack your target in the dream world, which wouldn't damage their actual body because that's just too absurdly broken, let's be real, but enough damage and you could break their minds. And this power also would allow you to communicate through dreams so you can talk to an ally as long as they would be asleep somewhere in the world. And to top it all off, awakening this fruit could also let the user manifest their dream creations into the real world to a certain degree, which, yeah, if you've ever had any wild and crazy and really nightmarish dreams like I have, then you should know just how insane and terrifying that ability truly is. Which now brings us to the number one best devil fruit that would break the One Piece world that you guys submitted, which is the Play Play Fruit submitted by Joe. Clearly not an average Joe, because at first I thought this would just be, you know, kind of like the game fruit that we discussed earlier, but how was I wrong? I mean, just listen to this. The basic power of this fruit allows you to make any sort of game into a binding contest in the real world. For example, if you're in a fight against a super strong opponent, you can use this fruit to turn the fight into a game that decides the outcome. And yeah, to truly understand how broken this is, let's just imagine you or I ate this fruit and strolled up to Blackbeard. Well, of course, there's no way that we would ever beat an emperor like Blackbeard in a fight, but using the fruit here, we could just make it so that he has to play a life and death game of rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> the loser is literally killed. Sure, I mean, to be fair, it might be a 50-50 chance, but it's infinitely better than having no chance at all, right? For another perfect example, let's say Bounty Hunter Zoro comes to collect the bounty on your head. Well, Instead of fighting, you simply challenge him to a race through a maze and you will 100% beat the always lost swordsman, so 
yeah, a truly broken ability, especially if you know your opponent's weaknesses, because with its powers, even a regular person has a chance to defeat the strongest characters in the story. But if you actually end up in the One Piece world and you want a true cheat code to become super powerful in One Piece, then there's really nothing better that you can do than eat one of these five actual devil fruits in One Piece. And if you want to see exactly what those broken devil fruits are, you can click that video right here. Again, a huge shout out to everyone all over the world who submitted all your, I mean, your, your ideas were just insane. Let's be real. I, I was actually moved. And it was really a blessing to see the huge variety of countries represented in the community, like part of this channel. Love that. Super excited to do this again very soon. In fact, if you want to see 15 more fruits from the almost 2000 submitted ones, there's so many cool ones left. Let me know in the comments. Uh, we'll make that happen for now. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.